And I have to say, when I read this, it's, it's, it's quite clever because they are they are talking about personal interpersonal skills, how to read these ones, and, and, and community and civil responsibility, and all these kind of nice things. Uh, we should learn about this, but okay, again, how to uh, say that they have reached the point somehow. So something about the quality uh, assurance approaches. In, in, this is kind of a finished point of view all the time. Institutional versus program evaluations are, they do exist in Finland as well. There is no single agreed purpose, method or definition of, of quality assurance communicated. This is a kind of <coughs> communication problem. You could say that this is a European wise now. There, has to, there are different approaches, program or subject evaluations, accreditation, <coughs> assessment, review. Our method is, of course, this, this kind of single method for audit or, 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 or census excellence, but we, we do know different methods as well. We are partly using them all the time. And, and, uh, and we are, no one can tell what's the situation after, let's say six, seven years from now. Uh, in Europe, usually there is this diversity of focus and we, we respect that as well. In, in the Finnish way, like it is in many countries, is that there are several actors executing evaluations for higher education. Um, the evaluation of research is basically done by the Academy of Finland, whereas the evaluation of education is being linked to FinTech. And the third actor is, is Really dealing with these um, agencies for, of, for technology, so this is a kind of knowledge triangle. So, our role is there really emphasizing education, but uh, in the real life, the whole thing is, is there's no limit in that sense. So, we are our audit model is, is, is talking about research, absolutely, it's talking about perhaps technology, all these things. Okay. Everything which is somehow linked to the university business. And this is our national quality assurance system uh, in general. So the roles of, of uh, our ministry, which is steering decision making, evaluation uh, by authorities, uh, and, and, and our role there, or the Academy of Finland, is, is really this national responsibility or this of quality assurance system and, and other kinds of evaluations. And the third wheel is these uh, institutions themselves. They really have the main responsibility simply for quality and they, by law, they have to create the quality assurance systems and, and participate in external evaluations. Why these wheels are not touching or I don't know actually, it's, 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 it's not well done, but, but anyway, the idea is that it, it's a kind of a mechanism and, and all the wheels are there and doing the same thing, hunting for that quality. <coughs> so the, the vision in Finland for higher education is something like that for 10 years. Uh, there should be more than uh, 18 universities of applied science in, in the country. The intake will be a little bit less than it's nowadays. There should be flexible, profiled higher education units and structures, strong and dynamic interaction with the region and with the world of work, and so on. And no more than 15 universities. And the in intake is even less, uh, but they are strong units and, and, and and profiles, and there will be four to five strategic higher education alliances, and this is very, very crucial for our work and for the national higher education policy. Uh, as I told you, we at the moment there used to be 50 institutions, independent institutions. Now we have some like four, six, but in 10 years there will be much less, 33 or something. Uh, it doesn't really mean that they are somehow, the whole institutes are cancelled somehow, but they are merging together. So there will be different campuses for different institutions. This is perhaps. But in the long run, less students, 
less F. Perhaps more money. This might be the question. But, uh, like you can guess, it's these institutions, they are complaining all the time. That where's the money? Where's the quality? And so on. So it's not, a, it's not an easy thing to do. But the fact is that uh, we have a diminishing age groups. Not only in Finland, I don't know the case in Romania, but the whole Europe is really losing youngsters at the moment. So this is according to the statistics. And, and what to do? Okay, the education is, is well, quality education is one factor there as well. But what can we do if there's no enough students anymore for, for these institutions? And, and these statistics, of course, they are changing all the time. Everyone knows that. But it's a, it's a really a crucial thing which we are facing at the moment. And so some countries like, like Estonia, they are disappearing. In, in 150 years, if nothing can be done for that. But to have a stronger, more flexible university or higher education system or sector of the society, it helps. This is our method, so to say, our vision. We are talking about uh, the size of a of a university, so there will be kind of a minimum target sizes at the moment, which is something like 3,000 students for one single university, <coughs> and a little bit more for the University of Applied Sciences, and then for the Strategic Alliances, something else. Okay, this is a vision, but anyway, we are perhaps following these things. So, uh, <coughs> definition for kind of a national quality assurance system. It's something like that. The definition of the responsibilities of the bodies and institutions involved. The evaluation of programs or institutions including internal assessment, external review, participation of students and the publication of results. A system of accreditation that has on comparable procedures and so on. These are very common things. And, and uh, we have defined the role of, of institutions so that institutions should understand the meaning of quality as a tool of its existence. And um, uh, pretty much it is the situation already uh, at, uh, in Finland. Uh, quality assurance system needs, uh, institutions should cover all activities, we reckon. Implementing quality needs external evaluation. The definition of quality is changing. Uh, this has been a little bit uh, difficult or challenging task for us to, to find that, that uh, all the activities should be there. So not only research, not only education, but together and all the services, uh, especially this in the third row, which is the interaction with the society in general. So actually when we are doing these audits, this so far has been kind of the weakest part more or less this interaction. Not always, but in many cases. We are talking about uh, developing evaluation score, enhancement evaluations, which is our kind of ethos in, in Finland, which means that we are going hand in hand with the universities to the sunset or something like that. We are uh, Mates, fellows, and, and, and liaisons, or whatever. So, our role is really there helping them to find the best solutions. Uh, audit, which is still uh, has been now for six years, our main product, if I may say so, uh, will be continued now. We just introduced uh, a new audit system for six coming years. But they, the basic is the, the same, but we are, there are some novelties for that, of course. So the whole system will be for 12 years now. I hope that there will be something else. After